We're hearing from Under Sheriff Pat Ivey, who on Saturday will become Jacksonville's newest sheriff. Today he was telling the mayor's office why the department needs millions more dollars to keep you safe. It's part of the yearly budget the mayor is preparing. The JSO takes up the largest part. News for Jacks reporter Jim Pickett was the only reporter there when the under sheriff told the mayor's office how much they need. Jim? Well, and the under sheriff is basically saying they need more than 37 million more dollars this year than last year because costs have gone up, contracts and other services as well. But I think the most interesting thing about this budget is none of that money is going for new cops. We caught up with Marlena Kuhn and her boys outside the Gateway Town Center and asked her where she thinks the sheriff needs to spend money. The I sheriff. think they should spend it on getting more police out on the streets to, like, to help with the violence. Do you feel safe on our streets? I don't. Why not? Because the violence has got out of hand. Like, for real, like, it's sad. It's difficult when you go out, you have to think about it, right? You have to think about it, yeah. And I keep my babies close, like, I keep them close. But today, after presenting his budget to the mayor's budget review committee, we spoke with Under Sheriff Pat Ivey about that. Really, you're not asking for more officers uh, this budget go around, correct? No, there's not, a, there's not an ask for an increase of manpower. Why? Uh, well, so we just got a COPS grant. We're in, we're in year two, going into year three of already an increase. Right now, Ivy is asking for over $539.7 million. That's $37.5 million more than last year. One department that is seeing a big cost increase is the jail. There's a shortage of corrections officers, and because of that, jail costs have skyrocketed. We're asking for the community, hey, if you're good applicants, bring them to us, and we'd love to fill those positions. What has happened, um, a cause and effect, you have vacancies, you got to pay overtime to the others. The sheriff's office is also looking at upgrading crime-fighting tools, and one area has to do with cell phones. The more password-protected they are, the more difficult it is for police to get into them looking for information legally. So Ivy says they're asking for $1.7 million to upgrade that technology that will allow them to do that. It will help us when everybody's password protected, fingerprint protected, face recognition protected, their devices potentially. Hopefully this will help us. Police don't just take cell phones and go into them. Um, we have legal steps and processes that we must follow. This will allow us, once we've obtained the, the permission um, to enter a device, it will assist us in those investigations. Now all of this is a wish list of sorts, and it's something the mayor will review before he presents his budget this July. Just to note that Sheriff Williams' last day is tomorrow. Ivy takes over on Saturday and will hold that position until August in that special election, or that could even be next spring if there's a runoff. For now, we're live at the Sheriff's Department downtown. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.